working on tonight is the actual roller roof mechanism. So here we did a little prototype mock-up um, from wood. And you can see that this will be able to curve quite a significant arc left and right. And it's designed, we've got these small little caster wheels. They roll as the uh, system goes back and forth and that spins the axle. What we want to do is link this spinning axle with a rigid rod to the same structure on the other end of the trike so that when you push on one side of the solar panel, it'll actually drive the wheels, all four wheels on both sides. And that should keep the whole roof panel parallel as it rocks from one side to the left. So here we're using our CNC machine now. So we're hogging out the inside to make it nice and hollow. Where you saw now that axle just fitting inside uh, spinning in the wood, they'll now be ball bearings to enable really smooth motion. And then what Robbie's setting up now is a jig that will bolt from this surface and then form a nice contour matching that sort of curved profile. And then the total weight of this aluminum structure is gonna be just over 100 grams. That's it, so like contoured. Yeah, so now we're preparing for a shakedown test of the trike built up in exactly the same form that it will be taking it on the sun trip. So since the last time we had a little video, there's been a ton of changes to the frames. Unfortunately, we missed capturing uh, the production of that, but if you look closely, you'll see we've now got tabs under the bottom for base mounting of the LIGO batteries, all in a nice row here. Um, and we've also been installing a luggage carriage system that's going to give us the ability to support our bags in between the backs of the two seats. So there's tubes that are going to mount on these little inserts that we produced here. Um, we're also replacing the rear wheel. Instead of having a 10-speed cassette system, we actually purchased a nice roll-off hub so that we'll have the ability to shift um, uh, from a standstill and have a wider gear range with more reliability. Um, this is the freewheeling tandem crank set that came with the TerraTrike bike. Um, one thing I noticed when I was rowing is that there's a fair bit of backlash at the initial start of the rolling stroke. So I sometimes have to pull anywhere from you know, three to five inches before the pulse would engage. And that's because this is using just a conventional freewheel that has about 24 pulses or points where it clicks in the rotation. Uh, so we actually had somebody quite kindly draw off a much more premium um, freewheel mechanism. So this is a token uh, brand, I guess it's a BMX freewheel, but it actually has 96 clicks for revolution. So I'm hoping that that will result in um, a rowing system that just immediately catches the moment you start to pull. So this is quite a large size chain ring, which is a little bit unnecessary. Uh, so we're gonna go down with a smaller uh, 39 tooth. Um, that'll reduce the diameter, keep the chain running a bit closer. But most importantly, it'll allow us to have a smaller diameter drum for the string to wrap around. This little rim will bolt onto this. This guy, here. And that's gonna be what the, the cable spools around. Looks really badass. It does look pretty badass. <laughs> Should be a, a little bit lighter than plywood. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm fitting the new luggage rack onto Merrily Merrily here. Getting it ready for a trip to Sook. Is that her new nickname? Dude. Merrily Merrily? Well, I think just Merrily is better. Yeah. But you know, you want to you think about the two. Merrily 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 Merrily. These LIGO batteries, you see this group of four is fully charged, this group is half charged. Um, one of the things that we've been uh, wanting to test on this here is Bluetooth pair, or ant pairing mode. So you notice here I turned off this pack and just the one battery turned off at a time. Yeah. Um, and uh, Now you want to have like a lead battery. That's right. So it's not, it should be the case, it's not a lead battery, but any one of these batteries. So if I turn this battery off. We'll turn all four battery. off. Awesome. Right. And then I turn them on, all of them will turn on. Yeah. And then when I want to update the, uh, um, the firmware on them or if I want to read the stats on the cells, if I put them into Bluetooth mode, um, so that would be Bluetooth, it should put all of them in Bluetooth. So now when I have the phone app, I can just read every single cell in the pack in a single go without having to separately uh, cycle through and input them individually. Yeah. So yeah, so this is going to be our first time testing a full 12-pack cluster of wireless paired LIGOs. Um, the front pack way out here is quite a bit separated from this one for the ant plus communication and it might be that it's uh, too far enough to maintain a strong network integrity. We had to decide on the threshold for that because you don't want batteries to be able to mate with the battery on the other side of the room because mm -hmm. uh, then you can you know, turn off the pack over here and then pack them someone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is part of our test run was to, to test the group LIGO behavior mode before we go and do a beta release yeah. uh, of this paired application. 
kind of like some strange mating call to like attract a mate or something. Just like, check it. it goes purple. There we go. So, so now this one's in pairing mode. Yeah. Um, and it should. Uh, there we go. You saw that? So now this battery paired with those four batteries over there. Ah. Um, and so that's. Uh, so when it initially showed that animation, they all indicated that they had now paired together. And that looks like it may have actually. Let's just see if it. There we go. Ooh. So you see that? So now when I turn this battery on, it's going to turn them on, including this guy over here. Okay? <laughs> it's so like e a... Even though these batteries, they're not physically connected together at all. They're on totally, like this battery is fully charged. These are all half charged. Yeah. Uh, but now they're all part of the same thing. But I'm a little worried that with the packs out here, that the, the network connectivity is going to be a bit intermittent and that's going to be uh... sporadically losing the pairing and repairing and the animations will look like a wild disco dance over here. Uh -huh. Sort of. Uh, Good thing you have like a full time engineer dedicated to Lagos <laughs> and programming. Yeah, I wish we had two or three of them. Yeah. One here I can pinch in. So there's three wheels, you can't see them all here. One, two, the third one on the bottom compresses inside. Right. And so right now, like this is pretty stiff to move back and forth because it's under a lot of compression. Mm -hmm. And then if I just turn that like a, a quarter turn, it becomes super easy to roll back and forth. Right. But then at this ease, it, there's a good chance. So I can just hold this wheel and stop it. So now it's just slipping. Yeah. Um, and uh, so I've got it under good tension. It is, uh, it totally doesn't slip, but then there's a lot more friction to move the thing down. Because the sure. bottom one's not even on ball bearings, it's just a friction roller. Uh, um, so I need to find the right trade off of tension there. But even then, I think if over time, as you move it back and forth, if the front end and the back end come out of alignment and mm -hmm. skew, then I just have to loosen the set screw on the linkage roller and undo it. Hold it off. But if my goal is to have it so that while we're moving, yeah. we can reach up, loosen the roof. And then I would use a pair of ropes to shift it left or right, I see. Uh, possibly tie it off, and then we both reach up and tighten it, and we can do it while we're riding. Because the nice thing about this trike is both of us can ride, can stop and use our hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ansel should have one hand down, but to reach sure. up and turn the knob. So what I'm, what I'm using the Allen key for here now, I'm going to replace that with an actual turnbuckle or a, a wing nut style. Yep. So you can just reach up and grab it. So yeah, so now we're actually, this is so exciting. Check it out, Robbie. Well, this is some of your fine CNC work, yeah. um, but that wow. is totally what I wanted it to be like. That is, <laughs> so that's awesome. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to neural the surface. Like, yeah, there's three, yeah. and since you're pushing, you're reducing the tension. All right, Harvey. screws and then screw that so it's just sitting uh, flush on the bottom of the wood. And looky looky! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess so it's spinning. Yes. Yay, forward. I noticed a terrible wobble in the room. That's because it wouldn't fit in the steering stand. So how many hours of sleep? Mm. Oh, really? That's good. Don't supposed to say, am I feeling delirious? Oh, are you feeling delirious yet? So it's like... I've been drinking the anti-delirious right. juice all night. That is not coffee. It was straight up Red Bull by the big fan. I, I saw tired. that. I am ready to bike 140 kilometers. <laughs> good to hear. Yeah. I'll be rating oh, yeah, you. Yeah, no sleep till soon. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have dozed off in the back seat. I've tried to doze off, but that'd be funny for the oncoming traffic if I was doing that like all <laughs> head loving thing. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, what's the ETA ET ETL? I say we can leave at eleven. Half an hour. Half an hour. Like we've got it. The motors work. We got the hat for the rowing rig. We've got the four data boxes. So yeah. Zero charging amps right now. Something is amiss. Uh, check for a bolt oh, yeah. on this guy. Now it's like this. Oh, you know what it is? I bet this, I bet because the panel is higher than the battery voltage, it's flashing an error. Um, this is silly. We might have to not use the Jenison and use the Chinese one. Well, this is the I mean, we're going to go towards the park in any case. All right. 
Good luck, guys. Thanks. Yeah, we'll see you soon. <laughs>